Mark McGowan, Department of History at the University of Toronto, and today I'm here in Ottawa where the Rideau Canal uh, meets uh, the mighty Ottawa River as it courses down towards the St. Lawrence. But uh, it's uh, an ironic place to be because being here on the banks of the canal uh, with the Bytown Museum, a former installation for Colonel John By, uh, who employed so many Irish in building this canal in the early 19th century, and yet up on the heights, uh, the outline of Canada's Parliament buildings where the descendants of Irish migrants and some Irish migrants themselves made uh, such an impact on Canadian history. And so you have the physical impact made by Irish workers and their families on the one hand juxtaposed against uh, those Irish uh, politicians and statespersons who have made such an impact on this country. In the 1860s, Thomas Darcy McGee uh, spoke in those chambers. Uh, Senator Frank Smith, uh, another Irish-born Canadian senator, uh, served in the Macdonald cabinet. Uh, Charles Fitzpatrick, uh, a member uh, of Irish Canadian from Quebec who served as Laurier's Minister of Justice at the turn of the 20th century and later Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. Charles Power, another Quebec member who served not only in the Canadian forces in World War I uh, but also served in the Mackenzie King cabinet uh, in World War II in one of the defense portfolios. And of course Louis Salarin who, despite his, his uh, father's name, was actually half Irish and served as uh, Canada's Prime Minister uh, in the 1950s. And so here we are today uh, with the memories of Irish migrants in mind and the many contributions that they have made to Canada up to this very day.